You spent years in the UFC. You've had an incredible career. What drives such an accomplished fighter to set up a middle school girls wrestling team? <laughs> My biggest word for it is passion. I mean, I, I love this sport. Walk holes, walk holes. Sprint! Back up. I've heard one of my coaches years and years and years and years and years ago. I said, "You got it's got to be there. You got to have a passion. You either have it or you don't." That's why you see a lot of people sticking it out. I mean, wrestling is not only physically tough; it's mentally tough. There's times that I would like, all right, like this. And I'm sitting there after practice. I'm, I mean, I just literally got physically beat. And I'm sitting there after practice and I'm like, is this all worth it? I mean, what, when is my turn? When am I going to win? And I think back to my mom, I would. She always said, keep going, don't stop. And I hope to pass that on with, with these with these young ladies. And I and I explain that to them during practice. Well, normally we're done running in, in there by this time. I'm waiting for an answer. Look at them and work by with your shoes on. <laughs> All right, here we go. All the way down. Back, all the way down. Go. One thing you guys got to listen to, Fisher Shack. One thing you got to listen, you got to be responsible. Okay, you got to be responsible. You got to bring your shoes. You got to bring your singlets. You got to bring your headgear. Especially if we're at a meet. Do not forget. Quote of the day. Got the one eat, gag gag. Don't forget. This is a relatively new program for us. And thank you. Ladies for coming out here and setting the foundation for future generations of wrestlers. There's one right there. She'll be joining you guys in four years. She'll be seven days in four years. So yeah, be responsible. Start being responsible. Be here on time. Be prepared. Show up with your singlet. Show up with your shoes. Show up with your headgear. When we get to the venue where we're work, where we're having our meet. They was like, I didn't bring my shoes. I forgot my headgear. And those are a plus. That's, you need those to wrestle. It's a, a learning experience. Out of the eight girls, six is this is their first time ever. Everybody wants success. But before you have success, you got to have struggle. You know, it, it, I've, I've had girls cry in practice. I can't win. I don't. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what's going on. I said, "Keep going." I mean, that girl you're practicing with, she's had a, a year or two of experience, and you'll get there. You just gotta keep practicing. Don't give up. We're just starting out, but give us maybe another another year. And then we'll we'll see we'll see what happens after that. I mean, to see your kid grow from from day one to our last practice to our last meet, to see a kid actually do the moves we've been working on, that would be my biggest accomplishment in seeing those kids 